notes from the knot. Ice slicked trods on high moor, oyster catchers, double stitch between raddled herdwicks, so many rabbits with that new virus that makes them bleed from the eyes. A peewit calls and flurs, skylarks lift and float, yet one swoops to my elbow, still bruised from a blood pool, before it pushes skyward. In the distance, the Lake District. Snow scores its ridges. What did Wordsworth say? Open-mindedness is the harvest of a quiet eye. The lapwings are vocal, despite the wind. The wind hover darts off the gable. I pull up thistle stalks, listen to the muzak and the soft-throated recording on the IRS phone line. Talk to a Miss Widmeyer. She sounds nice. Tells me to disregard everything. Fog. Starlings, zoom, thyroid results back, no real change, body still attacking the mother gland, poor thing. The vetch is ruddy, nothing looks good in this light. They are dropping heather brash on the moor again. My mother owns a foldable drone. Three lads with long dogs poaching, the snipe is back, singing chicka chicka cha from the top of the electric pole. Prolactin levels dropping, all hail to do-it-yourself HRT. Lad arrived in hybrid and jeggings, concerned for an abandoned lamb, umbilical cord withered to blood-cast cotton, told him not to worry. The lucitic curlew from County Clare has returned. Returning feels important right now. A female peewit cuckoo hinnies, and then it rains. The seed plumes of bog cotton turn pellucid in the sun, uplifting to sit amongst them, but damp. In the First World War, they were used to dress wounds. The toilet macerator breaks. I hair dryer the carpet, water down the gin for my own good.